Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about evaluating limits. And we're going to evaluate each limit. So, if I was given this limit, limit as x approaches negative 1 of 5. Now, one thing we know is that 5 is just a constant, right? So, as x approaches negative 1, we know, well, the graph 5, right? y equals 5 in a sense, we don't think of like that. As x approaches negative 1 from there, there's no x value really to plug in. And so, since we have a constant here, the limit is just equal to 5. There's nothing for 1 to be plugged into or checked or worked with, right? So, 5 is always constantly there. So, again, the limit is equal to 5. So, let's recap. We're given limit as x approaches negative 1 of 5. Well, quickly, 5 is a constant again, right? So, since, since it is a constant, uh, we just really doesn't matter what the limit is going to, whether it's going to 15, 100, negative 1 million, or even infinity. Uh, limit of a constant there is equal to that constant, which is 5. 